into this postseason edition of the Muir Rider Volleyball Coaches Show. I'm Jacob Pumphrey with MuirRiderAthletics.com, and joining me is the head coach, Stephen Grimm. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Uh, first off, Coach, let's hit on last week. Mm -hmm. uh, you ended the regular season on a great note. You picked up a 3-1 win at Washita, mm -hmm. and then two days later you come into Libby T. Watson Athletic Center and picked up a sweep of Henderson State on senior night. Uh, recap those two matches for us. Well, you know, Wichita bad just had beat us 3-0 at our, our place, so it was one of those uh, we ne we needed to, uh, I don't want to say revenge game, but it was it's typically, I guess, a revenge game because you know we, we, we felt that we didn't play to our caliber in, in the game that they beat us at our place. So we wanted to go up there and, and uh, keep the momentum going that we've been creating so far. and and uh, just play really good volleyball, and that's what we did. I, I thought we really did a good job of uh, distributing the ball. Taylor moved the ball around. All five of our hitters had uh, double-digit kills. Uh, we really kept the pressure on with our serve, with, with our attack, and our defense really did what they've been doing. So uh, it was really a nice, balanced uh, game to watch. I mean, and the ones that we lost, we had a lead in it. We just let them move off the hook a little bit, and then we get a little run. Uh, there's the beginning and uh, got, a, got a tie, or I think it was a tie, it was a tie. And then they, they took off again, got us there. But, uh, you know, then we bounced back in the four set and was able to pull it out. So uh, it was a hard fight. OBU is a very good team. I look for them to do big things in the tournament. Um, and uh, they've got Abby Pickett, uh, uh, who's one of the best hitters in the conference. So uh, it was it was a really hard fought game there. And then we went to Henderson State, which is always an emotional game when you have senior night the same night as a conference game. And, um, I thought we played, you know, um, a little down compared to the Wichita game, but that's understandable going with it being senior night. Uh, and with it being senior night, we wanted to um, make sure we played all our seniors and got some things to work on to get into the tournament. And, um, but uh, a 3-0 win is 3-0 win, and that's what we got going into, the, to, into today. So both of really big wins for us. We're now with seven, we've won the last 7 out of 8, and we're going to keep that momentum going. Coming into the season, there were some questions surrounding your offense and how mm -hmm. you're going to how you were going to be able to replace a player like Amanda Manji. And uh, so far, it's, it's really worked out for you all. Talk a little bit about how senior setter Taylor Rayum has been able to facilitate the offense and, and get and get the ball to, to, to key hitters like Serena Leduff and mm -hmm. Shelby Lauderback and Allie O'Bannon and, and girls like that. Well, you know, like, you know Serena actually has more kills than Manji did last year. But at the same time, we have distributed the ball more, I believe, uh, across the board. I mean, um, Shelby has more than 300 kills. Uh, Ali O'Bain has over 260 kills, and uh, then our middles uh, have dispersed there with over, about 200 kills. So, uh, we, she, Taylor's really done a better job this year uh, with the, facilitating to all of our hitters to allow the, the holes to open up, um, which has allowed our hitters to get wide open looks. Uh, if they're worried about Ali, now Serena's open. If they're worried about Caitlin, now Ali's open. It's, it's one of those things we want to move the ball around to where defense can't cheat on somebody like they did against Monji last year. Um, but uh, you know uh, that's where I feel that it was a big part of our offense this year is they couldn't f focus on us as much as they could last year and has allowed us to get some good kills. That's why we had such good offensive stats this year. Tomorrow night you take the court against Harding, um, 7:30 p.m. first serve. Mm -hmm. You've already played the Bisons twice this year. Uh, you picked up picked up two wins against against a very good uh, Harding team. Mm -hmm. uh, but honestly, I think we can all agree that this is the only one that really matters because right. it's postseason play. It's 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 a kind of a do or die situation for you. Are you gonna uh, attack it this without giving away too much? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna attack it the same way, uh, knowing what they bring to the table, or will there be a, a, a wrinkle or two here that they're not that they may not be used to seeing? Well, you always want to have a uh, ace up your sleeve, and uh, but we feel that what we've done so far has worked. Uh, but we want to be prepared for anything they might change up with two because they've had a week to prepare for us and they have the 0-2 on their mind this is their last their last game it's winter go home and so we know they're going to be very prepared for us as well and so we want to do what we do best but at the same time we want to make sure if they do have anything that they've changed that we are prepared for it and that we can counter with that as best we can but uh, the main thing we got to keep doing is just do what we're doing serve aggressive um, attack them and keep the pressure on them with our offense and let our defense do what they've been doing on uh, on defense as well as serve receive. So uh, just just keep maintaining what we've been doing uh, and then just make the adjustments as the game goes along. That's that's the joys of the postseason play. You gotta make you gotta make changes on the fly sometimes and because everybody's adjusting to everybody and, and again like I said they've had a week to prepare for us and we've had a week to prepare for them. So it'll be an interesting game. Lady Mirrors have won seven out of their last 
eight matches, and they'll enter tomorrow night as the fourth seed in the 2015 Great American Conference Volleyball Championship presented by Subway. Uh, be sure to check out MuraderAthletics.com for uh, post-game recaps and live links for live footage to follow the Lady Muraders postseason uh, tournament. Thanks, Coach. Best of luck. Thank you.